He's well known as a Hamilton-born musician. Tom Wilson is a member of Blackie and the Rodeo Kings, was also a member of Junk House. His alter ego is Lee Harvey Osmond in uh, the recording field. And he's also a published author and an artist. And currently his art is on display at the Grimsby Public Art Gallery. Welcome to the program, Tom. Hey, nice to see you. Tom, your art is definitely informed by an experience you had about five years ago when you suddenly discovered that you were adopted and were actually of Mohawk descent. Well, all my work now has this intent. It is fueled by the fact that I have identity now for 53 years. I'm 61 now. It was actually seven years. I don't even know. My math, unless you put a dollar sign in front of it, <laughs> I am not very good at math. But I was 53 years old in any case. And um, before that, I was I always questioned, uh, you know, where my uh, family really was. I always questioned uh, the people who raised me. Um, my identity was kept a secret. And at the age of 53, I found out that I am not, in fact, a puffy, sweaty Irish guy. I'm actually uh, a Mohawk. Now I have this intent to bring the Mohawk culture back into the light. That's my job. That's my job as working towards my identity that's 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 where i'm at was there some kind of a revelation once you discovered that and how did that influence your work immediately well my visual art in particular was influenced uh since i started painting in 1997 and it was my daughter who 15 years ago said dad you have to stop doing these paintings like this this is cultural appropriation and me being a knucklehead from Hamilton said, well, I don't even know what that is. What are you talking about? She said, well, you are taking, um, you're taking indigenous images and you're taking indigenous colors and art and you're using it for your own uh, profit, your own means. And I said, well, I don't know. This is just what comes out of me. And uh, that was now that's a revelation because my paintings have, have, have spoken for my identity way before I found out that I was a Mohawk. And actually, even the reserve that I'm from is famous for beadwork, you know, like this. So see that beadwork? Yes, beautiful. Uh, that, yeah, that's right. That's, uh, like Ganawage is, is known for its beadwork as uh, an art form all around the world. And my work, I've been working with these dots, and I, I realized that for all these years I've been almost imitating the beadwork, the art of beadwork from Ganawage inside my art. So I'm still walking down the same path technically about how I create art, but now my, uh, my heart is, uh, is, is approaching it from a different angle. Let's talk about these pieces that are on display in Grimsby. A lot of faces, a lot of masks, uh, covering a bunch of different indigenous cultures. Most of the uh, most of the tattoo work on the bodies uh, of my work, and uh, and also the um, celebratory masks, the hunting masks, the uh, they're not masks. There's actually face paint. Uh, the warrior paint is from uh, from the Mohawk culture for the most part. I continue to uh, incorporate uh, other nations into my work. You did a reading from your book to kick off this display as well. Yeah, I do readings uh, almost everywhere I go now. I mean, I discovered writing this book. I mean, I never, I never thought about writing a book until Random House asked me to, and I never, I, I just put my head down and and wrote it, and then it became a bestseller. So you know, I kind of lucked out on my first time out in the literary world, but I, I was able to travel for the first time in my life after that book came out, uh, getting into three years ago. I was able to travel with just a book under my hand arm and. Uh, a change of underwear and uh, a passport and I could go everywhere I wanted to go and I learned how to perform I learned how to perform on stage uh, just with a book without any music without any guitar so it was like you know cutting the uh, uh, cutting the uh, safety net on my performances but I learned to communicate with people differently I learned that the words that I was reading and the stories I was telling they were resonating with people in a different way than music did. I mean, to get people's attention, you know, I was used to just turning my amp up. You know what I mean? You just That's more right. volume. But but now I had to, I had to kind of reach people with just the written word. So that challenge is something that I not only uh, enjoyed, but it's also something that I've incorporated into uh, right across the board uh, whenever I appear in public. Tom, thank you very much for joining us today. And the book is called Beautiful Scars. 
The display yep. at uh, the Grimsby Public Art Gallery is called Beautiful, Beautiful Scars, Warriors, Hunters, yep. and Chiefs, and it's on now yep. at the Grimsby Public Art Gallery until January 10th. Thanks for joining us, Tom.